Welcome to the Health Core Power Workout. I care more about how you perform in life rather than how you look, but this no equipment workout will satisfy both goals. It's suitable to any activity level, so modify the program to suit your own ability. You'll gain confidence as you build mental resilience that will benefit you long after your abs are no longer a concern. So get ready for a great burn so you can look hot. Hey, I'm Joel. Welcome to the Health Core Power Workout. I'm here with the coordinators and we're here to get you into shape. Now you're going to start out with your feet all the way together. You want to look down and make sure your toes are in alignment. That's very, very important. Now we're going to start off with doing some knee rolls, big circles for five, four, all the way, three, two, and one. And switch for five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to roll your hips out five times, big circles, five, and four, three, two, and one. Switch directions. I get everybody to do these because it lines your body back up. One side is usually tighter than the other one. For two and one. Now let's do some jump rope. Act like you have an imaginary jump rope and start moving. You really want to use your knees and ankles as springs. Really soft. You want to act like you're jumping on a sheet of glass. And keep breathing. You want to get your body warmed up before we start working out. It's a little too easy. Let's pick up the pace. I want to get a little higher. Let's go. Really bounce. We're going to use those knees and ankles. Starting to feel these. You're getting warmed up. Good. Let's go. For 10. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Come back down. Let's do some up punches. You want to get your hands into a number 11. Make this. Punch straight up. Straight up. Straight up. There you go. Once you've got the movement, let's go. You want to keep the same distance between your hands and your elbows. And punch. You want to keep your knees bent. You want to use them as springs. Let's go. We're going to do this for about 20 some more seconds. Come on. Pick up the pace. Six, five, four, three, two. Where are we going to combine those movements? Let's go, jump. That's way too slow. Let's pick up the pace. Come on, move. Really soft. Remember that sheet of glass. For five. Four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Let's get that blood flowing. Now we want to stretch our hips out. You want to bring your feet all the way together. Now everybody look down, make your, sure your toes are in alignment. And you want to walk your hands down your legs and drop your head. You want to grab your arms so they're doing their work. So you cross them like this and disconnect your head. Really breathe, deep breaths. Now Natasha's neck is completely relaxed. She wants to move the tension out of your body. She doesn't want to shift it anywhere else. Now release your arms, hang all the way down. Now you want to bend one of your knees and open up your hips. On this position, you want to make sure you don't lift your heel up. It makes the stretch not as effective. You want to keep that heel down and drop. And switch. Really breathe, deep breaths the whole time. Relax that neck. Now go back and forth. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. And keep your knees bent and slowly roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Let's get that heart pumping again. Let's go, quick sprint. Get those knees a little higher. Let's push it. A little faster. It's a short workout. So you gotta work while you're here. Let's go. Let's pick up the pace. Really soft. We really want to hear those feet. That's way too easy, isn't it? Let's move it. Let's pick it up. Come on, quicker. Let's go fast. Ten, nine, faster. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Faster, 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 faster. And one. 
Shake it out. Punching back. Bring your feet shoulder width apart and start punching. Go. You want to make sure your knuckles are away from you and your thumbs are towards you. Try to get as far as you can away from your chest like you're hugging a tree. Really breathe. Deep breaths. Pull that stomach all the way in. Drop your shoulders. Really breathe. Get your hands a little farther away, Anna. Good job. Now let's work with balance. Who wants to come up on their toes? Let's get up. There you go. Way up. And switch directions. Keep going. Switch directions again. What are we going to do? Go drop. Keep those hands up. Go double time. Move it. Let's go. Really fast. Move it, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. Let's go. Stamp on your toes a little higher. And switch directions. Triple time. Let's go. Move it, move it, move it. Let's go, quadruple time. Let's move it there, faster, faster. Let's go, 25, 24, 23, 22, move it. Stick with me, you can do it. Let's go, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one last time, backwards, let's go, stick with me. They're not liking me very much now at all, but I'm gonna get them in shape. Let's go, move. For 10, 9, faster, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two and drop. There you go. Shake it all the way out. Now we're going to stretch it out and do the bow. You bring your hand all the way across like this and stretch all the way around. Really breathe. Deep breaths. Look where you're going. See how Christy's shoulders are in alignment? That's what you want to do. You want to twist around like this. A lot of people have a tendency to lift their shoulder here. You want to leave it down. And switch sides. And if you want to increase the stretch, twist it all the way around. Really breathe, deep breaths. And exhale, shake it all the way out. Open your feet up, a little bit wider than shoulder width. You want your toes pointed directly forward. So look all the way down and make sure one toe isn't skewing out to the side. You want them perfectly lined up. Bring your hands into prayer, and you want to squat down and back up down and back. Now, now we're going to use our arms. You want to bring it all the way up to your fingertips when you come down. What does that do? I make everybody do that so you don't get in the habit of leaning forward and working your lower back. You want to work your legs and your butt. Let's go. Drop down and back. If that's easy for you, go all the way down so your tailbone is in line with your knees. Drop. Five, four, three, two. Now let's move it. Let's go jump. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Really soft. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold you all the way down. I got a little treat for them. Then pulse for ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, a little lower, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Let's stretch it out. We're going to do a quad stretch. Take your hand, bring it all the way back, and lift your chest all the way up. And Jessica is going to show you a little bit of a swan, dancer pose. If you're that limber, try what she's doing. Otherwise, bring your knee all the way back, press your tailbone forward, pull your stomach in, lift your chest. You always want to look up above eye level. Resist looking down. And switch sides. Really pull that knee back, lift your chest. Pull the top of your head way away. And release. Shake it out. Now we're going to drop all the way down and stretch our feet out. Up all the way down here, lift your heels all the way up, way up. So you want your heels ideally in line with your toes. Now you can move those heels away from each other, back together, away, back together. Now let's do my favorite, push-ups. There's variations of these, we're all gonna show you how to do them. 
You wanna bring your hands shoulder width apart, spread your fingers all the way out, or you can do them on your fist. That's easier on your wrist. Come all the way up in upper push up. You wanna do those? You can stay on your knees, or you can keep your knees underneath your hips if you wanna tone your body. Let's get in the upper push up, and we're gonna drop down. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and hold it all the way up. Drop your elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Good job. Now Christy's gonna show you a variation called break dancing. So what she's doing is she's placing her hands exactly in the same spot every single time. And she's walking her hands around five times in each direction. Now let's switch sides. Elbow, elbow, you wanna do the exact opposite on this other side. Keep going, come on, stick with me. For three, two, and one. Good job. Drop all the way down on your knees and sit all the way back. Take your hands, interweave them together. You can do them behind your head or behind your tailbone. And lift all the way up. Really breathe, deep breaths. If you wanna try the other one, now's the time to do it. Interweave and lift. Deep breaths the whole time. Whenever you're stretching, it should feel good. Never go to where the muscle freezes. Always go to where it feels like you're massaging your body from the inside out. And your rest is over. On your stomach. Drop all the way down. Come on to your stomach. Reach your hands all the way out. Palms facing each other. Lift your head all the way up. If that's too hard on your neck, you can interweave your hands, put them underneath your forehead, and lift from there. But straighten your arms and start swimming. Let's move. There you go. Wesley, drop your chin a little bit. You want to resist looking up. It's going to overextend your neck. You want to look straight down. Really breathe. Deep breaths. When this gets too hard for you, you can drop your knees and do your upper body, or you can use your legs and give your upper body a rest. Well, let's go. There's also a variation of these. You bring your hands all the way back and forwards, and back and forwards. Let's do it for 10 more seconds. Keep breathing. For five, four, three, two, and one. Let's stretch it out. Bring your legs all the way out to a V-shape. Stretch all the way out. Use your hands for support. Lift yourself up. Drive your heels out and breathe. Now stretching is one of my favorites. I love doing it. You wanna make sure your toes are pulled all the way back. You want them flat. You don't want them contorting like this because it's not so good on your knees. Bring them all the way back and walk your hands all the way out. And drop your head and really relax. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Good job. Walk your hand all the way over. When you're doing one-legged stretches, you always wanna use the opposite hand. It's better for your back. Really reach towards that toe and drop. And back to center, and to the other side. If one side of your body is a little tighter than the other one, stay there a little bit longer. Keep breathing, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Good job. Now we're gonna come down on our backs and we're gonna look up belly. All the way down. Put your hands all the way behind your head. Your fingers are on your neck, so you're holding your head the whole time. All you're gonna do now is a few basic crunches. Lift it all the way up and down. All the way up and down. All the way up and down. Now act like there's a tennis ball underneath your chin. You don't want to work your neck like this. All the way up and down. Now let's lift our legs up. So now my knees are in line with my hips. 
Let's go. Lift your tailbone and straighten. Lift and straighten. Lift and straighten. Get your head a little higher. The way up and out. Up and out. The whole time you're pressing your lower back into the mat like there's a quarter underneath there. If this gets hard for you, just shorten the movement like this. Otherwise, all the way up and out. Give me 10 more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Back to the mat. Let's stretch it out. Palms outside and press. You want to get the farthest distance from your palms all the way down your toes. And hands back behind your head. And we're going to do some Turkish get ups. How do you do those? You got to stand up with your hands behind your head. If that's too hard for you, you get your hand on your stomach. Otherwise, let's get up. There you go, all the way up, stand perfectly straight, and then all the way back down. If this is hard for you, you can use your hand here, you can use it on your belly, but ideally you want it behind your head. Let's go, everybody up, and down. And up, and down. Let's go, really move it. Christy, you want to straighten your legs all the way back out when you get back down. Full range of movement. Let's go, all the way up, and out. Let's go, for five. And four. And three. And two. And one. Great work, guys. Good job, shake it out. Now you wanna bring your hands to number 11 again. And we're gonna twist. The goal here is to leave your belly button solid your hips solid, and your core working. Let's go twist side to side and look straight ahead. Keep looking straight ahead. Let's go, get those elbows together, get them up. All are doing a great job. Let's go now, bend your knees, and you want a little bit of a bounce. Bounce, twist. Keep that focus. Come on, breathe. Got about 10 more seconds. Pick up the pace. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Back to slow. There you go. Now we're going to add a punch. Punch and punch. Punch and punch. Look where you're going. Punch, punch. Get those hands back every time into a number 11. Bounce those knees. Punch. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, shake it out. Now we're gonna do oblique leans. Put your hands across in front of your chest. You're gonna drop all the way down and back up. All the way down and back up. What are those hips doing? They're not moving at all. Keep them solid. Good job, drop down and back up. Drop down and back up. Pull that stomach in. Now if these are too easy for you, I'll show a way to pump it up. Put your hands behind your head. Drop down and up. A little bit harder there, isn't it? Let's pump it up a little bit more. Straighten your arms. Down and up. Keep those arms straight. For three, two, and one. Good job. Let's kick it out. We're gonna off face this way. Bring your foot in front of the other one. Bring your hands all the way up. You wanna keep them up here to protect yourself from side to side. Now you're gonna just lift and kick. Ready guys, let's go. Kick and kick. Really pull your stomach in the whole time. Kick with that heel. Float that foot up.
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch. Good job. Let's go. Kick. Kick. Remember that heel. Pull your stomach in. Get those elbows up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Pull that stomach in. Two, and one. And switch. Good job. Now this time we're going to bring our arm down and that foot an inch higher. Let's go. Kick, kick, kick for thirteen. Four, three, two, one. Good job, switch. And let's go. Nine. Five, four, three, come on, stick with me. Two, and one. Good job. Shake it out. Now to get your heart pumping. Do some hip rolls. Get your feet all the way together and big circles. Really breathe, deep breaths. And switch. And let's stretch out those hamstrings. Open your feet all the way up. Walk your hands down your legs. This time you're gonna stop right below your knees. Pull the top of your head way away, elongate your spine, then go a little bit deeper, it feels good on your back. And hang all the way down. Grab your elbows so they do no work. Walk your hand over the side. That's easy for you. You can lift your hand all the way up towards the ceiling. Pull the top of your head way away. Then you want to use the opposite hand. There you go. Really lift all the way up. And switch sides. Walk your hands the other side. If you did a twist, do it again. Deep breaths. So what she's trying to do is pull this middle finger all the way away. And relax your back. Back to center, bend your knees, slowly roll it all the way up. We're almost finished, stick with me. We've got two more things for you. Cross country skiing, face this way, and let's go. Let's move. Really float. Let's pick up face if you want to. You barely want to hear those feet. Let's go double time. 20, 19, 18, 17, stick with me. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, faster, 3, 3, 2, and 1. Good job. Shake your legs out. Shake your arms out. Take a deep inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Put your feet all the way together. Bring your hands into prayer. Put your thumbs on your chest. So when you breathe, your thumbs lift. I want you to full use of your lungs. Take a deep inhale, and exhale. Now come all the way up on your toes, and balance there. Press your hands together for support. Now take your mind's eye in your toes, and lift your heels a little higher. If you do that, it helps you balance a little bit more. Keep breathing. This is easy for you. What do you do? You close your eyes. Who wants to try that? Any volunteers? Let's go. For five, keep breathing. Four, three, two, and one. And float back down. Take one more deep inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. You just completed the Health Core Power Workout. I hope I'll see you back here shortly. Thanks, guys. Great work.